Howdy! My name is Lainey Kesper, and welcome to Fun with Ultrasound Equine Distal Limb Edition. So whenever you go to ultrasound the distal limb of a horse, make sure you start by prepping the limb. To do that, you want to shave the area that you are going to view with the ultrasound. Clean it up really well and apply your ultrasound gel. So you may be wondering, why do I even need to shave the limb? Well, if you leave any hair on the limb, you'll have trapped air bubbles between the hair follicles, and that will be an artifact when you go to ultrasound. So now that our limb is ready, we wanna make sure that we know how our image is gonna be oriented. What I like to do is knowing that the notch on the probe matches the logo on the screen, I like to make sure that the screen matches what I'm looking at at the limb. So let's say that this is the left limb of the horse. If I put my probe on the limb, I'm gonna put my notch to match this side of the screen. So my notch is to my left, which is the left side of the screen. What that does is now this image is matching how my probe is oriented. So it makes it easier on me. So if this is a left leg, my notch is lateral. If this were a right limb, my notch would be medial. However, since my image matches what I see, I understand what's going on a little better. However, I'm gonna make sure to label my image so that anyone else sees it, they know what's going on. And whenever you do a sagittal view of, an, of a structure, make sure your notch is pointed proximal. And then similarly to the transverse image, we'll be sure to label it. So let's go and see what's going on with this limb. So whenever you go to ultrasound, make sure you start proximal on the limb, find your structure, and then follow it distally, like we are doing here. So we always wanna make sure our structure's in the middle of the screen, and we're just gonna follow it down. And whenever you find an image that you wanna take a picture of, and we'll do this, we're gonna make sure our structure's in the middle of the screen, get a good view of it, and then we can freeze it. Now, we have the added benefit of being able to take a second plane of view. So, what we'll do to take a sagittal view alongside our transverse image is press the R stop button. So now, we have an extra image on the screen. And when I unfreeze, it'll pop up. So the blue bar at the, mo at the bottom of the monitor shows that this is the active portion of the screen. So now that I have my structure in view, I can rotate my probe and get a sagittal view of that structure. And so if we do an off incident scan where we angle the probe and fan it, we can actually see that structure at different angles, like so. And so when we find an angle we wanna take a picture of, we'll do the same thing and freeze the image. So now, going back to the way my probe was positioned, I wanna make sure if, I, if anyone else looks at these images, they'll know what's going on. So we'll go to label the images. So if you remember, when I had my probe positioned for the transverse, my notch was to the left or lateral side of the left limb, which matches this portion of the screen. So I will mark that side as lateral. Likewise, we'll go to our sagittal image, and since my notch was pointed proximally, matching this logo, we'll label this side of the image as proximal. And then we can exit out 
And now we know that this side of the transverse image is lateral, this side of the sagittal image is proximal. And so if I like my images, I can go ahead and save them. And now we're good to go. Thank you for joining us today for Fun with Ultrasound, Equine Distal Limb Edition. Thanks and giggle.